welcome. I'm Katie. And I'm, I'm Kara. <laughs> I'm Heather. And you're watching Queen of Hops. I'm like, what's my channel called again? <laughs> Queen of Hops. All right, so today we're going to be trying this beer from Mad Tree Brewing. It's called the Phantom Forest Juicy Imperial IPA. I'm going to turn it over to Kara, who's going to tell you the facts. Yeah. So the facts are that this is a double IPA, 8% alcohol by volume and 65 IBU. Okay. Um, it is described as patterns of stone fruit, berry medley, and tropical hop flavors that have come together to create an art artfully crafted beer. Juicy and smooth finish. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. This smells quite hoppy. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I like how this looks. <laughs> Kara's going to love this one. I do like the smell of it, though. It smells fresh. Oh, this smells good. It has that it smells fruity. No, the problem is it has that piney smell. Yeah, yeah. Which is why it smells fresh. No, it smells like, like passion salt. fruit. <laughs> it's the passion fruit smell. I think it smells more like that cereal fruit loop type smell. Or that one that we had. Mm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I feel about this. I like it. So this is my thing. It doesn't have, like, it has the hops flavor, which I really like. It doesn't have, like, compared to that last one that we had, it doesn't have, like, to me, really strong fruit flavor of any kind. See, I taste a lot of passion fruit. Like, maybe I just don't know what passion fruit tastes like. I kind of like it's kind of like that fruit loopy type. Yeah. Taste. I don't think it has, it's not citrusy at all. Like, I don't think no. it's very citrusy, but no. it's it's hoppy and it has a little bit of like it's a little bit it's better, better, but mostly carbonation. hoppy. It looks got a lot of carbonation to it. Like a lot of like fizzy on my tongue. I'm trying More to so figure out what that ones. first taste is. That... I know IPAs aren't your favorite, Heather. Mm -hmm. This probably. I liked the one in the green can better. <laughs> the first this one. Is, the first one. Yeah. This one's good. I like this. Yeah. I just can't figure out what that. I'm going to drink the whole thing trying to figure out what that first taste Well, there's is. a little bit left in the can. I don't know. I just think it's really good. I don't really like it. I don't, like, I, I like it. I don't know if I, like, love it. You know. I would, I would order this. I really like this. I think it's the perfect amount of fruity, but not like, not too fruity, not like right. cherry or like like a very strong fruit. It has like, like a very light fruity taste, but very hoppy and also smooth. Okay. So I think for me, now that I've had a moment to think about it, I just don't like that initial smell. And it's, it's, ha it's, I like the flavor. I don't like the initial smell. Whatever that hop is. I just think it smells like a normal IPA. Yeah. Like it's kind of fruity like hopopotamus. Like, I'm not going to put it in the category. Not much reaches that category. But <laughs> <laughs> the first taste is very fruity. It just tastes like almost like passion fruit. Like, and then afterwards you get, it's really interesting. At first you get a bunch of fruit and then, but it's like light fruit. It's not too sweet. Okay. And then you have the hops and the bitter which I like so when I just now like to finish it like took that big big gulp I liked it because I've been taking bigger gulps this is my second class so yeah, yeah. like I think because I was like sipping it I was kind of like mm. but when you have like you can really a mouthful taste the profile yeah then then I liked it do a big sip Heather yeah I mean I love this I'm not she gonna like, lie mm. I like the first one better <laughs> like this one this one <laughs> On that untapped I'm app, I will give a 4.5 so I remember to get it next time. Nice. I'm just not a get huge this. hoppy person. Right, I like right. more of a smooth or a darker beer. That's just right. Yeah. This one starts out crisp, like... Maybe. It is yeah. kind of crisp, but I'll crisp. give it that. I'll give it that. Yeah. But I think the hoppiness I, comes at the end. It's like at the very end, you get this like kind of bitter, hoppy taste, mm -hmm. and it stays with you. But the first taste is kind of like this like fruity, smooth taste. Yeah, I, I really I actually like the smell of it. I know you didn't. I kind of like the smell. I think of it, it smells though. fine, but I just I really like this one. Yeah, it's probably one of my favorite IPAs. Cool. Well, good. I'm yeah. glad I introduced yeah. you to something there you, you like too. 
Where do they sell it? <laughs> Well, this brewery is it, it's from Baltimore. Baltimore. You, you said no. That was the last one. This is from um, Ohio, right? Is Mad Tree? Well, I believe that Mad Tree's in oh, Ohio. Well. It says it's established in 2013. That's how you check. Yeah, we find out. We might have it carry it somewhere over here. Let me see. I feel like 21st Amendment has everything. Yeah. So, I um I went to this place. Cincinnati. It's from Cincinnati. Okay. So I went to this place in Kentucky, Newport, Kentucky called party source it's right. a huge liquor store that also has beer and they had a ton i don't think i've ever seen so many single cans that you could choose from and so i went and i i attempted to stock up as best i could because i was like you know what we've got to have some stuff to try and so again not not here. sponsored <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Bloopers. That's right. Kara's like, don't waste it. Don't waste it. <laughs> How uh, dare you. Yes. <laughs> Definitely worth uh, checking that place out if you're somebody that, you know, for me, I love to get the single can to before committing to the full four or six pack. If I, if, like, I had, had the choice, I would always do the single can. Yeah, unless you know that you love it. Right. And then because if you know if you happens, love it, then I want to get like a 12 pack and then it's only in a four or six pack. Right. <laughs> and then I'm just carrying my leftovers on to you, hoping you like it. Or it yeah. Exactly. All right. So there you have it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. And if you like these types of videos, make sure you give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comments. Cheers. I suggest it's, it's pretty strong. Love my child. She's on cleaning duty, Ryan. So Alright, well this is another IPA. This one's a little this is the juicy imperial. Yeah, this one I'll probably like. it looks pretty. It does. But I'm not a huge fan of mad so we'll find out. Where is Mad Tree based out of? I don't know. Let me look it up before, so I'm not looking it up while we're in there. Yeah. Mad Tree. What is it called? It's just called Mad Tree Brewing. I mean, it's so pretty. I know. Well, Mad Tree is the brewery. Yeah. Oh, it's called Phantom Forest. Okay. Sorry. I thought you... I was very... Okay. Oh, no. Something? Something. As I literally spilled it all down my leg. <laughs> That's great though.